a visa bulletin. We get these questions all the time. What is this visa bulletin? And what am I supposed to be looking at? Well, the visa bulletin is given out by the Department of State. You can actually Google visa bulletin Department of State. You could look it up yourself. It's the first thing that pops up when you Google it. And they, they give a list and the list tells you when you will be eligible for a green card once you have your approved visa petition. So people always call me all the time and they say, Brad, I filed my I-130, it's five years, I'm concerned. And I tell them, don't be concerned because your date on the prior, your priority date, your date on the waiting list is the date in which your application was filed. So whether when your I-130 is filed, that's your date on the priority date list. And no matter whether it takes the I-130, for example, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 900 days, or in many cases, five years, you're going to get your green card on the same exact day because your place on the waiting list, you get slotted in based on where your uh, priority date is. So, and for example, if you filed your I-130 on January 1st, 2015, uh, that's your priority date. Whether they approve your case in 2017, 2019, or 2020, your priority date is January 1st, 2015. And then you look at the uh, visa waiting list and the visa waiting list is at travel.state.gov slash visa bulletin. And you look to see where they are. So for example, for May, we're looking at May right now, the employment base. Lee, if you can go back and show us the uh, priority dates for the family base, those are the ones that start with F. Um, and the, uh, in the category for employment based, I mean, for family based, we're not looking at that right now, but that's what I am talking about. Aha, uh -huh. dates for filing family sponsored visa applications. That's what we're looking at. And the F1 category, as you see, all chargeability areas, it says F1 category, November 22nd, 2014, the F1 category is the category for unmarried sons and daughters of US citizens. And they have a date there that says November 22nd, 2014. That means people who filed their I-130 visa petitions for their unmarried children on November 22nd, 2014, those unmarried children over the age of 21 are now eligible for their green cards. No matter when, how long it took the I-130 to get approved, as long as that I-130 was approved, and you file before November 22nd, 2014, your kid's eligible for a green card today. Except obviously we got that ban, which is a whole other story. In China, they're also November 22nd, 2014. In India, it's also November 22nd, 2014, but Mexico and the Philippines, they are much even have even much longer waits. If you look at the F2A category, that's they're up to March 1st, 2020. Wow, March 1st, 2020. Who is in the F2A category? The F2A category are spouses of permanent residents and children under 21 of permanent residents. That means that if you are married to a permanent resident, your wait for a green card, assuming you have an I-130 approved, your wait for a green card is current. Current. So that means uh, that there is no wait for a green card, which means that you are in the same position as if you're married to a US citizen, eligible for a green card immediately. For the F2B category, they're up to January 15th, 2015. Those are unmarried children of permanent residents. For married children, they're March 15th, 2008. That's why I always say if you're married, you're going to wait 10, 12 years for a green card. You're better off make sure your kids don't marry. And for brothers and sisters, we're going to wait donkey years. Everyone knows what donkey years is. And they're only up to July 22nd, 2006. Tomorrow, we will talk about the employment-based visa categories because uh, we got to move on. But every day, we'll be talking about visa categories every week, at least once a week. I think it's important that people understand that. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.